Hey everybody, Zachary Strife here, and I'm going to do a how to install Tekkit SMP server and set up so others can join you. Uh, first, we're going to need to actually download Tekkit. To do this, go to technicpack.net and then you click on Tekkit 2.1.1. Go ahead and scroll down to the server section and click here and it will automatically begin to download the server files for you while we're doing this we must go to Technic Pack again and click on Tech at Launch or sorry Technic Launcher and you're going to do the version for your computer uh, I use the Windows version, so I download the EXE version, which I already have. So I will go after that. All right, and here in the Tekkit 2.1.1 is all the files you need to run a Tekkit SMP server. It's pretty simple. Go ahead and extract that to your desktop. Presto change -o. There it is. Alright. There's a little bit more to this. Um, a lot of people say you need to port forward. I have not had luck with this. I actually had to run a DMZ through my router. Oops. Forgot numlock there. Boop. So depending on your router, uh, log into it. And mine is a uh, Linksys E3200, which I just recently got, and it's freaking awesome. Um, generally, you want to go into your applications gaming section or port forwarding, and you should see a section for a DMZ. Uh, I have the DMZ set to 192.168.1.120, which is the PC that I'm running right now. Uh, to get the number you need, you must go to your network and sharing center. This is all on Windows 7, by the way. Um, click on your local area connection, details, and it should be your IPv4 address. The last number, or the last set of numbers is the, the, the numbers you're going for, which in my case is 120. <clears throat> so you open the DMZ, enable it, and what this does is it allows all access from the internet to your computer. So if you do go to like naughty sites or click on a, a link that will send you where you don't want to go you will download everything it's very unsafe so if unless you know what you're doing I do not recommend to do this but if you have a dedicated server computer that you're only going to run server go ahead and install or uh, <clears throat> enable it and that's it you enable the DMZ and it should um, Technic Launcher. You can put the uh, executable, executable anywhere and it will load the Technic Launcher. Uh, when that loads up, go ahead and select Techit. Not Technic, but Techit. Because Techit is the only one with server mod. And then go to the Techit files that you've recently downloaded for the server and click Launch. And it should do all this junk and then start generating the world for you. Now when you connect to it yourself you can just type in local host which I will show you once this is done generating. And uh, you do use your Minecraft login information here. Do not worry the Technic Launcher is safe. Uh, a lot of people are using it so do not worry about them stealing your password. So once you uh, click on your mod that you want, you log, log in, and it will check for files, and it will install everything that you need automatically. Uh, since I already have it installed, it already went ahead and just went to the game. Uh, I'm actually using Texture Pack, which is pure BD craft uh, with Tekkit editions, uh, which you'll have to Google and find yourself because I don't remember where that is. All right, so we have the server up. It's done loading. You're going to go to multiplayer, direct connect, or add server, local host, join server. 
And if you did everything correctly, you should be able to log in immediately with no problems. It might freeze or lag for a bit because it's generating the world as you log in. And now you should be playing Minecraft with all the tech it stuff installed and ready to go automatically. Everything is pretty easy to install for the tech it. They made it very, very simple. All you need is a username and password for Minecraft and you're good to go. All right. <clears throat> So if you want other people to join, you're going to have to go to a website called, uh, let's see, what's my IP, my IP, yes, and you click on that, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to give away my IP address, but you click that <coughs> and it'll give you the IP address that your computer is running on, and then you give that to your friends and say, I'm just going to type in an IP address here. Um, you type in the IP address and then you add colon 25565. That's the default port that Minecraft runs on and you do need to have that when you're connecting to another server. So uh, I can actually show you kind of how that works. Direct connect. Um, in this case 192.168.1.120 is my home computer network and add colon 25565. Now this will work this way, um, but use the IP address on the website for your friends. Uh, if I can find it, what's my IP? So give them the IP and add the 25565 at the end of it like that. And you should have people coming in your server with no problem. I hope that is helpful for you all. And enjoy the tech it, everybody. This is Zachary Strife signing off with cows who always interrupt the outro or ending. Enjoy the tech it from a barely adequate gamer. Boop, boop. I booped the cows. <laughs>